Do you have an old MacBook that doesn't get updates anymore, but you wanted to get uh, new software updates? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Uh, I'm going to be using my mid-2012 uh, non-Retina 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, its newest version is Catalina, but I have it running Ventura at the moment. I'm going to show you all the way from the beginning, all the way to the end, how to do it. All right, before we get started, I just want to point out I am not the best at video production. So, if there's any point that you don't understand or I left out, Please let me know in the comments and I will try my best to assist you. Step 1. You're going to need a Mac running Mac OS. If you don't have it, just use your MacBook. So, while you're turning it on, you're going to want to press Command, Option, and R. It will start internet recovery. From here, you're going to want to type in your Wi-Fi password information or just plug in an Ethernet cable. I recommend the Ethernet cable because it will go much quicker. What the fuck? It is now booting into the recovery image. For me, it took about five minutes to download, um, and I guess this will take a minute to boot. From here, you should have now booted into Mac OS Utilities. So you're going to want to select Disk Utility and select your disk. This is my disk. Select Erase, and then give it a name. Then select on Erase. Give it a second while it'll erase the device. You can now select the X and select Reinstall Mac OS. Give it a second to load. Select next, select continue, select agree, agree, and then select your drive. And then uh, you're going to want to plug in your Mac throughout this process for, um, for safety reasons, I guess. Fucking plug in, damn it. Fuck, it's not that fucking. And then it should start installing. Alright, all you do is you just set up your Mac normally. Uh, nothing special about this process, so just can continue through as you would. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to the website linked in my description below. Um, it's the website for OpenCore, which is what you have to use to install more modern versions of Mac OS. It's a GitHub link, so just scroll down, find opencorepacketer.pkg, go ahead and install that. Once it's done downloading, go ahead, open it up, and continue with the installation. Type in your password and it is now done. So go ahead and do whatever with it. Then all you need to do now is open up your list of apps and find OpenCore Patcher. Go ahead, select build and install OpenCore. Install to disk. Select your disk and select EFI. Now, since that's now done, what you need to do is you need to create a macOS installer. Select download macOS installer and select which version of macOS you want to use. You want a 16 gigabytes or bigger uh, USB stick. I prefer USB 3.0, but USB 2.0 works fine, but it's just a lot slower. Just insert the USB stick into your USB port, uh, pick your OS, download, and it will go ahead and down. All right, the installer is finished installing to the USB stick. This is where, if you've used a different computer to create the installer, you want to select yes. If you're using the computer you want to install to, then you can just select no, since we already built and installed OpenCore for it. To install your modern version of Mac OS, just Select restart and restart. Now while it's booting, hold down option, select EFI boot, and then select your installer. Now you're in Sonoma recovery utility. Just select install macOS Sonoma, continue, agree, and then um, and then let it install. Now you'll successfully have a new version of macOS on your old Mac device. But before you can actually use your Mac device, you want to first open and open Open Core Patcher, and then from here select Post Install Root Patch. This is something you have to do after every Mac OS update, or else drivers will not be installed correctly and the system will lag. So, that's the end of this. That's all you have to do. You now have Mac OS Sonoma running on your Mac, only it up to Catalina. Hopefully I helped you out here. If you need help, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you. But hopefully this worked good for you and hopefully you're happy. Thank you for watching.